I hate even to compare, but I must. Speaking of babies, oh, oh the big baby in the White House spoke at a ceremony. <laughs> it's quite the segue. Good segue. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Like Thank like you. you. I do work on him. <laughs> uh, he was at a ceremony that was supposed to have honored Native Americans, but you know he just can't help himself. Mm -hmm. Take a look. <laughs> You're very, very special people. You were here long before any of us were here. Although we have a representative in Congress who they say was here a long time ago. They call her Pocahontas. <sighs> <laughs> he, he thinks it's funny. He thinks he's funny. He, he's got the, he, like, a, a, an adolescent sense of humor. But why would he yeah. think that was the crowd to try to share the well, nickname Pocahontas? And, and, oh. and they would... don't call him any or anything. She, he's the only one that uses that term. No, that's not true. A lot of Republicans do that. That is not true. A lot of Republicans, that that not oh, yeah, lot do, of Republicans yeah. call awful. her that. Yeah, they, they, well, he started it. I mean, she lied about being Native American, and she well, got she herself lied. into... Her, yes, well, yes. Well, she, was, she said her family, and I have to say, you know, many black people are told, yes, you part Native American too, so yeah. maybe I figure white people she get it family too. But she said, she said, "Quote: These are my family stories. This is what my yeah. brothers and I were told by my mom and dad, my mama yeah. and papa. Mm -hmm. This is our lives. I'm very proud of it." She listed herself as a minority to get into law school at Harvard, for the record. And Cherokee groups have demanded documentation of her an okay. ancestry. Genealogists haven't been able to find it. I have so she three. Did lie. I have three words for yeah. Ancestry.com. Yeah. <laughs> To be honest, I, I agree with you, Whoopi. You know, on my father's side of the family, everyone always talked about my great grandmother mm -hmm, Lily, mm -hmm. who was uh, Cherokee. I, you know, mm -hmm. but when I did my Ancestry.com, I was seven percent Native American. I don't know if it comes from my Puerto Rican side or my African American side, but we have always had that in our family, that lore. And so I don't want to just completely disbelieve um, Senator Warren when she says this is what I was told in, in my family. I mean, that—that's a lot of people have done Cherokee that. Groups have demanded documentation. Well, that's she hasn't been able to. Okay, yeah. but, but, but I think you can't discount that that was what she was told. If but she says that's what her folks he, told regardless her. Regardless of the know. truth of it, to refer to someone Harvard, by uh, though, is an entirely different thing than telling stories to your family. You're benefiting by getting into Harvard Law School. So that is where this that? controversy... She said that she didn't she, put she, it on her application. She listed it as a minority. I mean, Wait, have but, but, but beyond that point yes. about yeah. who's right, to, to refer it to was, someone as a historical figure like Pocahontas... It was listed in the directory. Or a Disney character, whichever way you know her. It's it's the Insult is on Pocahontas and like the, the people, the Native Americans. Well, that you know, I thought about it and I asked them. Before, we were talking about this because it becomes a slur when you, for example, if you say a guy who's Italian is a real Guido. That's mm -hmm. an insult. If you say a Jew is a Jaime, the uh, Jackie, what's his I've name? I've never or? heard that one. Reggie Jackson. Uh, not Reggie Jackson. No. What's his name? Um, Jackson. Well, Jesse, Jesse Jackson. Jackson. Oh, okay, okay. Jesse Jackson Thank famously you. called New Yorkers a New York Heimie town, Heimie meaning town. there are a lot of Jews. Jews. So yeah. that's why Pocahontas becomes a slur. Yeah. Because well, yeah. Of what I'm, well, the but Native they, Americans but that the were important there said part it was a slur. Is that these are Native American code talkers from not the Navajo Nation in yeah. Arizona who, who gave a great us. set. Yes. Yeah. In Dude, the war. It's a fascinating story, actually, about what they did for us in World War II, and I do think that they deserve the respect. Well, he just not to be politicized. And not to be politicized in that setting. Also, of the optics of having Andrew Jackson. This administration continues to get in its own way with the optics of things well, that, that they're was, advanced. That was troubling to me that this all took place in the Oval Office with the with the uh, portrait of Andrew yeah. Jackson yeah. on the wall. And Andrew Jackson is known, uh, you know, for he was called being the, the racist in, the, the Indian against in, yes yeah. he he moved people. He moved the Native it Americans the onto the Indian removal the, act. The, Trail of Tears. And I mean, yeah. but just that, why would you, why would you think that this would be smart? Why would you think that Native Americans would think that you, as the, the white guy, why would you, why would that be amusing well, to them? Well, he doesn't care about the Native Americans. Yeah. He only cares about his base. He, he thinks it's And when he, he makes a funny. joke, Pocahontas, <laughs> he, he or when it was he goes, funny. Puerto Rico, yeah. he's, he's talking to his base. He doesn't care about anybody else. Well, and here's the thing, I think base. this was a mistake, though. I think it was a gaffe. I think it was Everything a gaffe. Everything comes an out of his mouth gaffe. is a gaffe. He, he thought it was funny. And, but the thing is, <laughs> you're just turning back very quickly to Andrew Jackson. You know, he chose to have that portrait 
in his Oval Office. And and I don't I think he understands visuals extremely well. Yes, he does. And I think you know when you look at these nas white nationalist blogs, they they laud Andrew Jackson. And I think it's dog whistle. I think he is speaking to his yes, base by absolutely. by putting that photo up. So we should I have think an ex-president photo up in the Oval Office. Well, but that president, he chose that president <laughs> in Thomas particular. Well, Why not Kennedy? Why not Lincoln? He chose it, and they Steve all, Bannon they all also have issues. Every one of them. There's again, again, if you want, as Joy just said, if you <laughs> yeah. want to go down the roster, there's issues with every single president, <laughs> starting with Bill Clinton, but going back up. This one is specific. Right. This one is specific. Yeah. I, I this, think this important. has a, this. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. It's. I just think it's important to know that when you have a native, Native American veterans who did a lot to help us win World War II, standing in front of a portrait of Andrew Jackson, that's when I have a problem with him hanging in the Oval Office. Well, so, parade, I do not. So how do the, the Republicans feel about the fact that that goes against the military? I mean, the, the Republican. Well, you want to talk about yeah. going uh -huh. against the military? You know, a couple of weeks back, uh, we just got the, we found the remains, the rest of the remains from that ins uh, insane oh, David John. craziness that happened over in Niger, yeah. right? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. How come he's not talking about going and kicking Niger's butt? Because he's, he, he's always saying, we're going to come and you messing with our people, we're going to do this. Yeah. What, you haven't said boo about this. And how come you haven't mentioned, hey, we finally got the rest of one of our people back? Yeah. Why haven't you done anything about that? Why, Why haven't you, you said anything? Why do you think? I don't know. Because the guy's black, right? I don't know. I just, <laughs> but if you're, if you're going to be the guy that says, you know, I'm making America great and I'm going to take care of my country and you can't, you don't have the cojones to say, hey, Najir, we're going to come over and take a look at what you're doing because well, you messed but up. But it's on his watch and Benghazi was not. Yeah. We'll be back with more hot topics. <laughs>